Hi everyone, it's Colin here. One of the fastest ways to start ideating on 3D footwear concepts in Gravity Sketch is by using a simple subdivisional shoe last. This technique creates ideas without the need of sketching or sculpting from scratch. GS provides a ton of different models from inside your options menu. Under prefabs, go to import models at the bottom, then reference library, scroll over to footwear, and lastly, find the shoe last folder. Select any model to load it and select it again to place onto the world axis and press the blue check button to activate. You can also just reach out and grab them to place more freely. At this stage, a helpful technique is duplicating the last, enlarging it around the original, and then decreasing the transparency of the outer last. You can then lock the inner last layer and begin to sculpt the outer one directly. This helps to quickly visualize the interior cavity as well as the varying thicknesses around the shoe. Once you have your outer last in edit mode, you're enabled to begin changing its form using the sub de editing tools. A helpful tip for adding or removing entire edge loops is to hold down the index trigger on your non drawing hand prior to making your selection. You'll notice the edge loop become highlighted. All the models you see here have been sculpted from the shoe last itself. Some keeping things simple, while others achieve almost textural-like detail straight from GS. Another way to rapidly build forms within Gravity Sketch is to combine other sketch objects with the shoe last, with the ability to convert and merge the objects together later on. You can then edit the separate sketch objects as one cohesive form. Remember that any GS tool can be converted to a sub-D object, allowing the ideation phase to quickly meld into the prototyping stage. Give this workflow a try and share with us what you end up creating. Tag us on Instagram and subscribe to the Gravity Sketch YouTube channel for more helpful footwear related tutorials.